Hello everybody! Welcome back to card 3 of our September card making class and um, as I referred to in one of the first videos that um, some of those cards are kind of uh, the idea taken from this workshop that we got. It's the crisp air, it's the current uh, fall paper and the current book and it comes with this die set and stem set. So these are the stems and then you have matching dies in it too. And it's a really great set. You make four of each design and while we kind of mimic these two already, so this is number um, three we're kind of going for. And um, I had to alternate mine a little bit because like I said, if you do big batches of cards, sometimes you have to play a little bit with um, the kind of papers you use so you have enough for everybody. So this is my version of it. And we also needed a little birthday card, so um, make sure when you pull things out, be careful. There are little pieces in here we don't want to lose. And I just converted mine into a fall birthday card. So we have a couple pieces here. This is one of the die cuts. Um, we have a couple more pieces here. And then we have this one here. So. Again, in this case, I sponged all my pieces. And as you can see here, uh, they have a little bit of a greenish gray, which is our rosemary in this case. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and sponge these for a second. And if you wonder, if you have your set in hand and you go like, oh, Claudia, this is a little short. I know, but due to the shortage of paper, what you want to do is you just take your strip and you're kind of like eyeballing it and just cutting it in half both of them because what happens is if we put them in there we have a little gap in the middle but this will be covered by our sons so um, no harm done you have enough paper to finish the card as is but we want to go ahead and start sponging them a little bit and as i explained in a previous video i use our regular round sponges cut them in wedges put one of these little um, paper clips on there and that way it's easier to hold them and then i just go along the edges of my paper and give it a little bit of color this is also a nice way if you have the matching color to a cardstock that calls my heart cells you can actually also go ahead and use the matching color which will be a more settled edging and definition of your edges but um, since our cardstock has a white core um, you can cover up this little white strip that you sometimes see if you don't want to see it so that's another way of getting rid of it but i think this time we're gonna go with a little bit more um, edging that will be seen so here's our white paper and as you can see here, it's a grayish green, like the leaves in here color. And I will just go around the edges a little bit. And the sponge makes it nice and easy to work around these and gives it just a really soft edging. You can use your ink pad, but it will give you a more harsher line. So whatever you prefer, either way it works. In this case, I like mine to be a little bit more softer. So let's do this here. And there we go. And then we do our pieces here. And I don't really have to be too careful. We just want to give it a little finishing touch here. So we do it this side and this one, and then we have this one here, and we go ahead and do the one last one. I don't do the glitter paper, so we don't need to do this. If you want to, you could do the, the flower in the middle too, but I'm going to leave mine as is. Let's close this up so we don't mess up our... Um, projects, making sure everything is clean because that's the other thing I always like to do is get fingerprints everywhere. So we have the inside is already stamped and 
ready to go. And this one here, while it will fit in the center, um, you have to add this little strip there. So you want to off center it a little bit so you have a nice even frame around uh, this side this and the bottom and then once we add our strip here it's gonna have the same on the other side okay so and I'm gonna line mine up with my bristle mat because that should give me a nice indicator on where to put where to place it so it's nice and lined up if you don't have this mat, I highly recommend it. It really helps because of the grid that's shown here. So those squares are all like a quarter inch. And this really makes lining up things easy. There you go. Now we're going to put our strip on. If you happen to have some tweezers, they come in handy now. Just use your tweezers. Put on some adhesive and place them right butting up with your paprika paper. Okay, now we have these two. So, and I like to dry fit mine. I'm not worried about the green ones right now. I'm just gonna what I want to do is I want to have again an even frame around them and then just place these in the middle so let's see that should look okay here so let's start with this one get a little bit of adhesive on my finger All right. so this one should work right here we're gonna place this one here. Remember it's easier to fill in the middle to make it look straight and even. That looks good. And then we stick our two smaller pieces here. Just flush with the bottom of the two strips we already put in and then making sure we have an even spacing around here and then we take this one here and again we're making sure it's lined up with the top here of these two and even spacing on the sides here and these strips are so small they just go right in the center I guess I wasn't holding them correctly together. Oh well, no problem. There's plenty of room, so I'm just gonna make sure they're lined up on the bottom and what's going on on the inside, we don't really care. All right, now this one needs to be raised and I'm just gonna put a couple of these foam dots on here. Moving the backing. And placing it in the middle. And it's up to you which way, what you want. In the center here. Just center it, that looks good. Press it down. So um, this one is pre-stamped for you as well. If you have this, you might have a bigger white space around it. Just trim it down a little bit. And what I've done with this one, as you can see, I just used my finger to bow it a little bit. I did like two squares here in the middle. And then I did a little bit adhesive on the ends. So it's gonna be raised in the middle, but the end's gonna be flat. And then this goes in the middle here, around here. See, now you have a little 
bow here. Just a different dimension. You don't have to, you can do it the old fashioned way. Our little gem goes right here, or wherever you want it. And then this one is already finished beside the inside. So we did a little bit squirrely on the inside. And again, I just used a plain pencil and I just did a little snake, snail. And the same here. And then we do another one up here. And then just a line across here. And then I did a few little dots here and there. You don't have to, but it just makes it look more finished. All right. And this birthday card is finished. So this was card number three. We have one more to go and a lot of die cutting for that one. So I hope you stay tuned for card number four coming up soon. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.